Today, we're going to build this wall-mounted, not bent lamination, hat rack holder thingy on four eyes. As you might have already seen, I recently built another one of these hat rack things out of bent laminations. In fact, it was my first bent lamination project ever. And because of that, I was honestly about 50-50 as to whether or not it would work out and be a usable video. Thankfully, as it turns out, it was. But as anyone who's done a bent lamination piece knows, there's quite a bit of downtime involved. Normal glue-ups are usually fine to unclamp after about an hour or so, but with bent laminations, you should really let them dry up in the clamps considerably longer. Or at least I did. Anyhow, all of that is to say, since these were relatively quick projects to knock out, but with a bunch of downtime involved, and because of my doubts regarding the bent lamination version, it seemed like it might be a good idea to have a backup plan. So here it is, my safety net. After I had the width and thickness of the piece roughed out, I started in on the length. Here I'm just cutting and measuring the piece into three pieces that will come together to make up the finished hat rack. Next, I made like a seventh grade geometry student and busted out my protractor and ruler so that I could mark out all the angles I need to eventually cut on the ends of these pups. Mistakey, if you're still alive, I hope you're proud. One of the angles that I needed to cut was more than 45 degrees. So I used that vertical cutting jig that you've seen me use in other videos. That's not the technical name, by the way. The rest of the cuts were less than 45, so I could make those normally. Then I went ahead and mortised in a domino on one end. I think it was probably overkill, but why not? Also, this particular joint was almost end grain to end grain, so now that I'm saying it out loud, yeah, this was definitely 100% totally necessary. The last thing that I wanted to do before I glued it all together was to sand a little angle on the two shorter end pieces, just to kind of make them look a little bit more elegant. I started off by sanding, but quickly realized that this was a lot of material to remove, so I ended up removing the bulk of it on my bandsaw, and then just sanded it the line. Then I could glue everything together. In the bottom joint, there's nothing to reinforce it, but the angle is so steep here that the grain isn't nearly as porous and it should be plenty strong. If you were worried though, you could put some nails or screws through the back and nobody would ever know. I don't think you'd need them, but maybe if you're planning on hanging a 10 gallon hat or something, you might want it. After the glue was dry, I trimmed the whole thing to its final width and did some pre-sanding. And then finally I took it over to the router table to round over all the edges. While I'm doing that, I'd like to take another second to thank all my Patreon supporters again. In the other hat rack video that I did, I laid it on pretty thick and got pretty serious. So I'm gonna try to keep this one a little lighter here. And instead I'll tell a quick little story. One of the fairly common messages that I get from my patrons is something along the lines of them apologizing for only being able to pledge whatever amount they're pledging. And it always strikes me as, Honestly, I can't even think of a word for it. But it makes me think about how these people are already being incredibly generous to me. And yet somehow, they feel they owe me more, or like they aren't doing enough. So what I always tell them in reply is, if every single viewer were half as generous as you, I'd be a very rich man. So to all you out there, whatever you're giving me, just know, it is appreciated. And I guess, when I think about all the people watching me who genuinely enjoy these videos, or care about what I'm doing, that's actually really special. And in that sense, I already am a rich man. If you want to find out about how you can support the show too, check out the Patreon link in the description and see if it's right for you. And as always, no pressure. So I started off the weekend that I built these not knowing that I needed a hat rack. I was really just looking for something quick to build. And here I am now with two. And seeing as how each of these things can hold two hats, if my math checks out, looks like Lids has some business coming their way. Either way, make sure to join me next week as I build a third and final version of this idea, thus completing the illustrious and often elusive 
hot rack hat trick. Not really. Thanks for watching, and again, if you want to learn how you can support the show, just follow the Patreon link. And if this was your first time to my channel, welcome. I hope you liked what you saw, and if you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks. See you next time.